answer your communications, answer your WhatsApps, answer your messages, answer your emails, answer people. I don't understand people that struggle with it and I have a few ideas and tools for you on how you can get better at texting people back or replying. So one of my biggest pet peeves is people not replying to messages, not even to me, just in general. When people say, oh, I'm bad at replying and things like that, that is gonna cripple you down the line because you are in a world that is based on communication. Now, if people communicate to you and you don't have the ability to do the most simple thing, such as replying to a text or replying to an email, then what are you gonna have? Less communication, which means less life and less growth. How do you expect to grow your business or in your job or in your friendship if you can't reply to people? And that's a simple thing. Life has much bigger challenges than answering. So we need to fix this issue and people should be good at communicating, right? Because it'll achieve growth. Okay, here's a few ideas. First of all, don't open a message unless you're gonna reply to it right away. There's a fantastic rule that I use that if I have to read what someone says just to check if it's urgent, I always mark it back to unread so I make sure that I reply to the person. But I never open it and then say, ah, I'm gonna reply later. No, either I reply right then and there or I mark it unread so I am ensuring that they will get a response to me. That's number one. Number two, make a mental decision that you won't leave people hanging. Take away this idea that texting is something that you don't do or whatever. Get back to people. Number three, only engage in lots of communication if you're willing to take on that amount of communication. Like sometimes I want to speak to more friends, so I'll text five or so friends and expect their replies. But don't do that if you're then going to not reply. If you're planning out a birthday and you send invites to people, you need to then reply to them once they RSVP. Don't just go cold. So always make sure you answer. Now, it could be people messaging into your business and you think, ah, uh, it's, I'm not interested. Uh, you know, I have an events company and people write to us all the time wanting to DJ at the event. And they might even be DJs that don't fit at all the genre of our festivals. But I still make sure to reply to them. Don't leave people hanging because they get that reply and they at least completed the communication. It's not left open and they'll appreciate it down the line because you would want someone to reply to you. So make sure to practice these few things and I hope that that inspires you to just go back over your messages, set aside a bit of time and get back to people. It'll help you out. It helped me out and it's something I use often. Thanks for listening to this video. I hope it helped and feel free to share it. Thank you.